Hey everybody, welcome back to the best U.S. Mint News channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is November 26, 2024. And in this video, we're talking about, that's right, that flowing hair, high relief gold coin. And then there's something special at the end of this video I want to show you. It's kind of important. I think that, uh, well, you just have to wait. It's really cool. Now, before any of that, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs. It's a mighty big number. Not sure exactly what that number is, but it's got to be ginormous. Also, hey, guess what? Always live, never edited, and always unscripted. Now, let's bounce over here to moneymetal.com. No, they don't pay me, but they should. Here we go. Gold down 65 cents to 2633.85. Silver up 11 cents to 3060. Platinum down 705 to 944.35. And palladium up 350 to 1014.30. And over here, Dr. Copper is down two pennies to 408. You're looking at its stock, American Silver Eagle, whose premium is 699. For a quantity of one through thirty-nine, you'll be paying thirty-seven sixty-one. And look at that, they'll buy them back for thirty-two seventy-four each. And look at that, thirty sixty-two. Next stop, coinworld.com. An article here by Paul Gilks. He says buying frenzy surrounds flowing hair, gold dollar. Absolutely. But which one had the bigger frenzy? And I think it was the silver. That's right, the silver metal. And this is from uh, November twenty-four. 2024 at 9 a.m. and it is from coin world and there's a picture of the flowing hair high relief gold coin without the 230th anniversary preview mark now it says here and there's some uh, things that need to be kind of sussed out like i said in the beginning of the video i was like uh, i don't know what's going on with these mintages but um we need to find out and that's why we're covering this because this story is not over yet not even close not by far all right the u.s mint reported that it took collectors only four minutes to deplete the inventory of available flowing hair gold dollars and a robust secondary market has developed all right so let's get down to brass tacks i don't even know why i said that all right it took collectors four minutes on november 14th to place sufficient orders with the united states mint to exhaust the bureau's authorized issue of over seventeen thousand proof 2024 230th anniversary flowing hair high relief four nines fine gold dollars at three thousand six hundred and forty dollars per coin and did you get the mint's catalog yeah they list that high relief gold coin for three thousand seven hundred and forty dollars so i imagine that it's going to go up in price if they do release it again the price of the sold coins quickly escalated for resale in the secondary market at hundreds of dollars above issue price now i gotta say that's not as much of a ratio as for the silver metal right that one went gonzo incredible prices i think that's at least double not just hundreds right all right let's keep on keeping on orders for the gold dollars were limited to one per household as the number of potential buyers increased exponentially online those trying to place orders were routed to a waiting room in the order which they tried to place their order. Potential buyers were subsequently moved into the buying queue after the waiting period expired. Now, one thing I wanted to follow up, and uh, Mr. Paul Gilks did not add that to this, but the United States Mint, you know, this is probably one of the biggest um, drops for the United States Mint since the, um, I guess, the um, new website transitioned into what we're seeing now today. And, um, yeah, they didn't add, I mean, yeah, they had employed the waiting room, but they didn't add the feature on the website where if you get it into your cart that you got five minutes to complete the transaction. That would be so wonderful. And wouldn't it be nice? Now, it says here the Mint sold 500 of those bad boys, all right, those proof gold dollars, November 14th. That was the day it dropped at the Whitman Baltimore Expo. And you should have seen the line, folks. And I did have a video about the line. It was wrapped around the inside of the building there. It was quite incredible. And they said that the Mint was definitely keeping them in line in more ways than one. U.S. Mint spokesperson Michael White said November 18th that 2,000 of the proof gold dollars were reserved for direct sale to the 18 unnamed. Why they got to be unnamed? I, well, what's up with that? Dealers that comprise the authorized bulk purchase program. The ABPP dealers are able to place orders for the coins for pickup a week before the launch of sales to the general public. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're under the impression that they get 10% of the available inventory. And if we go over here, oh, and also, yeah, 17,000. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Because check this out. We're going to go here. This is the United States Mint webpage, Home Shop, Precious Metal Coins, Gold Coins, and 230th Anniversary High Relief. Folks, you're looking here. The United States Mint went and changed the mintage limit. All right. Well, the, I'm sorry, the product limit to 10,000. It was 17,500, but. They lowered it by 7500 and if the advanced bulk purchase folks are only able to get 10%, well, yeah, 10% would seem to be 1000 not $2,000. Um, and if they had 20000 well, 10% would be 2000 but they had 
only 17.5. So it does seem like the United States Mint will be able to change, um, well, each different uh, allotment per product. So they can do what they want when they want to. All right, let's keep on keeping on. The ABPP dealers acquired the coins at a 5% premium. That's awful, right? Uh, but that's what they have to get. And I think that's why we see the advance uh, labels are a lot more expensive. Um, and that's why right there, that advance uh, premium right there. Above the retail price charged to the general public of the 2,000 proof gold dollars reserved for the ABPP dealers, the dealers placed orders of 1,994 of the allotment that was available to them. The Bureau also previously recorded a sellout of the matte finish, 39 fine silver, 2024 silver medal there. All right, uh, it says the medal's limited to the re product release of 50,000 units. And we know that's... Um, also was reduced because they had up there in the initially uh, on drop date at 75,000 and they only sold 49,996 of those medals as of October 24. Secondary market resale for silver medals has been recorded at multiples of the issue price. Yeah, not just hundreds of dollars, but multiples. And that's incredible. The gold dollar, the gold dollars were struck at the West Point Mint while the silver medals were produced at the Philadelphia Mint. The numismatic products were produced in recognitions, uh, a recognition of the nation's first 0.990% fine silver dollars in 1794 and designed and engraved by Chief Engraver Robert Scott. Neither the gold dollar or the silver metal bear the mint mark of the production facility where the numismatic products were executed. All right, for the proof flowing hair high relief gold dollars, 230 of those, all right, were scheduled to be offered at an auction December 12th at Stax Bowers Galleries. Complete details of the auction has not been explained as of November 18th. However, if we go to Stax Bowers here, the website, and if it ever loads, I apologize, it's gonna go slow. Yeah, it looks like there's actually 231 lots now. This must be a, considered to be a lot, and they've added to this. Welcome to the sale. Um, and I think I would like to do a live stream of this particular auction when it does happen on December 12th. Uh, so we'll see if that works out or not. But yeah, the current bid for this particular one, and why is it so high? Well, because it comes with one of the, the dies that has been, well... Uh, they put a big X on each one of them, the top and the bottom. The, uh, uh, oh man, it, it, you just let me just let me just show you. You just gotta see it. Look at this. Okay, that's the coin right there, and there are the dies. Bam. Yeah, they're made. Uh, they're uh, housed in a custom made box and provide an unpre unprecedented glimpse into the mint state of art production process for advanced collectors of classic flowing hair coinage and modern gold rarities. This lot represents a monumental prize. Okay, they've been canceled out, but what if somebody? was like, I'm going to get these and then fill this in and try and make coins again, right? That's, yeah. Wow. You never know. People are always up to something, right? All right, let's keep on keeping on. Um, striking details? Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, that's, that's right. Striking details. Here we go. Uh, the flowing hair high relief gold dollars were struck at the West Point Mint between August 29, 2024 and August 23rd, 2024. Why? Why so spread out if there was that? Not that many, right? The coin's edge exhibits the denomination includes at 100 cents, $1 or unit, along with 13 six-pointed stars. The collar die used to execute the gold dollar's edge device exhibits ink use lettering that upon striking results in the edge lettering appearing raised on the finished coin. The gold coins were struck on a GMP 360 coinage press made by Grabenair Press Time. Oh boy, I can't even say that. Pressen System, a GBH and company, KG sounds German, Deutsch, with the obverse and reverse dies oriented vertically. The obverse die served as the upper hammer die with the reverse die as the lower anvil die. Oh, uh, that's interesting. And remember, uh, because uh, El Yunque, right? That's right, the anvil. All right, the planchets received three strikes from dies exerting 100 to 110 metric tons per strike. And that's why uh, sometimes you get some finning on these four nines fine soft gold coins. According to White, four obverse and four reverse dies bearing 230 privy mark were used to strike the privy mark at gold pieces. The average die life for the uh, obverse dies was 118 strikes, and the reverse was 213 coins, not strikes, my bad. 118 reverse um, and 203 coins. That's interesting. The average life was 118. Uh, and that's, wow. Wrap your head around that. For the non-privy mark gold coins, 34 obverse dies and 31 reverse dies were used, with the average die life for the obverse coins at 366 and the reverse at 372 before retirement. That that would be really cool if the United States Mint actually had uh, those 34 and 31 
available to collectors, right? Not just the ones we're seeing in that auction. Five edge collar dies were employed overall for the gold dollar output with the average life of the collar die at 2,525 coins. White said the first struck Privy Mark proof gold dollar was produced with its own die set. What? Wow. That's remarkable. Who knew? That's incredible. So it, it appears that uh, they, they were one and done. Isn't that incredible? Wow. That means that uh, that die that we just looked at is probably in really great shape. That's incredible. Now let's keep on keeping on. The online collectibles auction and direct sales market eBay reports the completion of multiple resales for the gold flowing hair high relief dollars. Now this just gives some examples on the secondary market. And what I can easily do is just bump over here to eBay and show you some uh, completed listings, sold listings. And what's interesting about the silver uh, flowing hair metal is that we're not seeing too many of them in a original shipping uh, package, right? That bag that you've seen, um, that's almost about $600 uh, online right now if you haven't opened it up. Now, if you did open it up, it's about $220. Now, that's also the price for the Mint State 69, 249. The Mint State 70 is at 359, and that's about right. And look at that, $4,000 for the Privy Mark special. Now, I think, um, uh, I think a smart person, a smart buyer, or someone with the wherewithal would probably try to put together a Privy Mark gold coin, as well as a Privy Mark flowing hair silver metal, uh, companion set, right? That would be incredible. Uh, and if the Mint did sell those dies separately, well, that would be an amazing addition to any collection, I would think. Now, let's keep on keeping on. I'm going to go here. This is the gold uh, high relief coin, and these are the recent listed sales 5,699. And these are proof 70 ultra cameo. And we're not seeing too many mints or uh, proof 69s. Um, they seem to be grading uh, very high, very nicely. Look at that one. That is so beautiful. You can really see that ultra cameo in there. Uh, and, and it's also kind of pops because of the black core in there. And it's really beautiful. Look at that one. Even pops even larger. I'm telling you, it's all about um, eye appeal, right? Eye appeals everything. Now, let's, what else is about it? It's about those plus ones. That's also everything. Let's keep on keeping on. Uh, let's see. I go, oh, yeah. I wanted to show you this. I thought this was really important. This is under Home Shop Metal Programs, Humanitarian and Cultural Heroes of Kabul, August 2021 Bronze Metal. I think this is really important. Uh, I have here selected the one and a half inch for $20. There is a three inch metal for $160. Uh, do you remember when the uh, three inch weren't like it, it quadrupled in price? Uh, ridiculous. Now, oh, here we are. So, yeah, if you don't know anything about this, uh, there's these. Uh, all these uh, service members uh, made the ultimate sacrifice uh, that day on August in August 2021, three a few days before uh, the yeah in Afghanistan. Remember that was anyway. I think that every sale and it'd be really awesome. Uh, every sale that the United States Mint, you know, when they have commemorative coins, they go, oh yeah, ten percent goes to the organization. Well, I do believe that. The money, the proceeds for these sales of the Heroes of Kabul, I think the money should go to these families right here. But that's just my opinion. Now let's go to those plus ones. Bingo. All right, this is about wants. See, I just wanted something, and I just... It, it, can I get that? Probably not. Now here it is. If you can't have what you want, want what you can have. Yowza. Um, I bet Gabriel said that. Improvement of character. So you can improve your character if you realize that, well... If you can't have what you want, you better want what you can have. And see how much, and think about it, life would be so much more simpler because there's a philosophy that we create our own suffering through our own desires. And if you want something you can't have, well, you've just created a whole lot of excess suffering for yourself that, well, it's pointless, isn't it, at that, right? So let's keep on keeping on. Let's go bounce over here to 3959.9 KOIN Coin News Radio. This is Foreigner. I want to know what love is. See, more wants. Everybody wants something. Everybody wants some, right? I want some too. Now, with that said, I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, sub the channel. It's absolutely free. Also, hey, guess what? Consider becoming a member. It's $1.99 a month, and it's the price of a cheap cup of coffee, and it helps these videos come out each and every single day. So if you like these coming out, membership action is desired. Stack her out.